I'm in Alexandria, Indiana, and I'm about to interrupt Gloria Gaither. Okay, now Gloria is the one who told me God was in the interruptions. Well, we're fixing to find out. Follow me. So this is the Gaither compound, all from one song, He Touched Me. And because he lives, it is finished. Uh, the king is coming. Uh, get all excited. Uh, how great thou art, amazing grace. I mean, who knows what all they've written. We're sneaking in the back. All right, I think it's around here. Mm. Yeah, just together. And it was just... Hello. <laughs> How are you? What? Well, I heard I one time that... I heard one time that God is in the interruptions. Yeah, well. And I have come to interrupt you know, your lunch. Here. Listen, what I want to do here, this is for my new video, and I want to ask you, you she told me one day... You pick a day when I didn't have any earrings on. I've been doing interviews with earphones. Well, you look more Church of God then. Yeah, well, my... So, it, so listen, she says to me one day, God is in the interruptions of my life and he's seldom in my plans. Or you may not have said seldom, but I've... Well, he doesn't mind if you have your plans. Right. But he doesn't mind interrupting them. So either. what first caused you to think of that? My life. It actually happened when I turned 60. When I turned 60, I thought, wow, I'm just now figuring out what I want to be when I grow up. I thought, okay, if I wrote the story of my life, what would make the book? And that's what made me stop and say, everything that would make the book was an interruption. Wow. But then I thought, I think everything that made the book for Jesus was an interruption. And he was always on his way. You know, the whole New Testament is he was on his way to teach his disciples. And as far as I know, they never got taught. <laughs> Because somebody said, you know, son of David, have mercy on me. And it was the lepers or some woman touched him with his garbage. On his way to heal a woman that had already interrupted him. And he was interrupted in his grieving for John the Baptist. And then finally, in his exhaustion, the disciples said, get in this boat. Or we're going to take you, you know, out. And the whole country <laughs> followed him to the other side. And he ended up feeding 5,000. Right. So, I mean, just time after time after time. So right. I said, okay, so why am I a bit out of shape about interruptions? Yeah. And that led me to what we talked about. If I had my life to live over, the only thing I would change is I would sigh fewer sighs of exasperation. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I would have known sooner that this is God's adventure. I would make the list, that's okay, and I'd say, I wonder how God's going to mess this up today. <laughs> Hijack your life. Hijack my life. Yeah. And so, I mean, instead of saying, oh, shoot, yeah. I would say, okay, that's, yeah. my, that's it for today. Don't you think if you learn to welcome change, your life would be a lot easier? It depends on what you mean by change. I mean, like, life is about change, interruptions. Uh... Life is about signing up for the changer. Okay. Change isn't necessarily good. Well, Change yeah. can be evil. It can be bad. It right. can be precipitated by all the. But wrong if you can't help it, should you accept yeah, it? Yeah, but only if you know God is in it. Let's just take the praise. Even the position. If you put your hands up like this, you are basically saying, "God, you can take anything out of my hand." It's a very vulnerable position. Mm -hmm. You can take anything out of my hand you want, mm -hmm. and you can put anything in my hand you want, because you're not protecting yourself. You're not right. So it's not it's not just welcoming change. It's welcoming resurrection. And the truth is, the resurrection is all around us. Yes, you got exactly. A whole new way of everything. So you talk about change. Yeah. You know that was the change point. He came to make all things new. This is why I love Gloria Gaither, <laughs> and I've allowed you to sit in on just a few minutes of what has literally changed my life through the years, because she's taught me about the grace of God, and you've got to discover the grace of God. It's the most fabulous thing you'll ever find in your life, isn't it? It is, it is life.